Hi, this is Merv Barrett from Real Estate Connected, the creator of Easy Property Listings. And in this quick video, I want to show you how to set up a, a theme to work with Easy Property Listings. And we're going to be using the Virtue Premium as a demo for this particular example. Now, the Virtue Premium theme is pretty nice looking. It's from Cadence Themes. Uh, if you visit themes or cadencethemes.com and look for the Virtue Premium, it's a pretty slick looking theme and can f form the great basis for a real estate website. It's got some responsive effects and transitions that happen here, and it's a pretty slick looking theme. Now, I've got a demo site set up here uh, with the Virtue Premium on a multi site installation. It's just where we set up our themes. And this is the, I've basically activated the theme. I've made no changes, so I'm not sure how to configure the theme itself. That's not what we're going to cover in this quick demo. We're just going to configure the property section to look correct. So normally when you install easy property listings and you leave the uh, theme configuration disabled, you might end up with a view that's like this, uh, which is where the sidebar is missing or it might be underneath, which in this particular case is underneath the property section. And this is just the way WordPress works. Unfortunately with custom post types, uh, there is no particular action or hook that we can automatically output specific content on a page. Um, so we've done our best and the theme setup is quite as simple as we could make it. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got my Coda installation, which is just an FTP uh, client on my Mac. You can use FileZilla. And we've got I've got the Virtue Premium theme open, the folder open here. So the first thing we have two setups, uh, two setups to take place. Now if you visit our documentation, uh, go to support documentation and if you visit the th tutorial theme setup you'll find the instructions and this is what I do every day when I try and set up someone's theme is uh, how to set up your theme for easy property listings and here's the documentation now all we need to really look for is the single listing.php template instructions and we're going to start with the archive listing.php instructions here so we're basically going to insert one line of code into a new version of the archive page and then we're going to add the loop start and end to add the grid sorting and the um, yeah, grid option view and the sorting so I'm going to take a copy of the function here, the PHP function. So I'm just going to copy that. Next, I'm going to take my archive.php file, and we're going to duplicate this file. And I'm going to rename it to archive listing. It's actually quite a simple process. Unfortunately, every theme is different. I could show you 10 themes, and they've all got different coding. That's just as theme authors uh, create themes differently. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, hard to give you a clear instruction on how it would work on every single case, but it's quite easy. So it's going to call this archive.listing.php and all the custom post types in easy property listings we use the single archive.listing file. You can actually separate it and have archive-property and have custom settings there, archive-rental and additional settings there. The plugin will operate in that way as well. Uh, but for simplicity, we use one single template uh, as best we can. So I'm going to open this file up and as you can see, we're going to have a lot of PHP code here. Just going to zoom in a bit so it's easier on the video. And right, so what we need to do first is every theme is so very different. So we, you know, we can see that there's a header here. So that's how the header is pulled in on this particular theme. Uh, we've got uh, sorry, no results found. Okay, so we've got some information here. So we're looking for normally is this particular part like get template part is often it's a new function in WordPress a few versions ago that uh, allows people to to create templates um, and so we've got like if it's display sidebar in this particular theme while have post because that's what our instructions say so look for the post or sorry if you look for the post uh, so we got okay template content get post format so we're basically going to add our function in here and it's going to replace it we're going to do it because it's got an else so it says if it's a sidebar show this or if it hasn't got a sidebar, show this. So we're actually going to insert our function so the plugin can work with or without the sidebar. Now, because we've I've copied the code with PHP, we're already in PHP. So make sure you're not causing a fatal error by adding the PHP commands again. So I'm just going to put that in there. And again, I'm going to copy this and place that under here. And we're just going to see what happens. Now, we're going to have duplicate content. That's fine. But at least I'll give you an example of what happens. So I'm going to save the file. Once that's saved, we're going to reload our Virtue Premium property page. And there we go. So we've started to already um, 
improve and all I've done is pasted one line of code into a duplicate file so if you can see here so we got our this is our what easy property listings template looks like by default uh, which can be created and customized and then here we go here's what a default post looks like within the theme so if we now just comment this particular part out with a couple slashes and again for the other template and if I save that and if we refresh we've now integrated easy property listings with this theme and it's taken 30 seconds next we need to um, look for if we want to have the icons for searching and sorting uh, so we need to look for a particular piece of code so basically it has to happen um, around the have posts so in this particular case uh, our instructions here are before the second have post option okay so we're looking to look for an end wall so you can see there's an end wall an end wall end wall uh, so this is one particular section in this particular theme so we're going to go to do action we're going to copy the end we're going to put this after the second end wall so we've got two of them again so we need to um, put that in there and in this particular theme again there and then we need to have the before we want to put this before so what WordPress is doing is saying if there is posts okay do something so if there that's already happened above this code so while we have posts app, output the post now if we put that in if we put this particular code in here I think we've got the sidebar you'll see that the it will be repeated so you put it in the wrong place and once you've done that, just put it in the right place, and we, we pretty much configured the theme. So as you can see there, we've got multiple sorts happening um, because this is happening, happening in the wrong place. So we can actually try and use one entry. Let's try putting it above here. And see what our results are like. I'm just going to save that and reload. Right, so there's our sorter. So now if we... We can engage the sorter, and you just need to tweak some CSS depending on that particular theme. Um, okay, so that's pretty much how to configure the archive page uh, for the Virtue Premium theme. Most themes are like this. They're all very differently written, but basically all you need to do is put this somewhere in the template and see what happens. Once that's happened, you need to either remove things or add things. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of code here, which is something to do with their page navigation that sort of stuff so if you can scroll down you might find something you don't want there just cut it out and that's how we configured the archive page so now let's take a look at the single listing page so I'm going to go back to the main folder of the theme I'm going to scroll down and look for our they've got a few different choices here um, so we're going to duplicate the single .php and I'm going to rename this one single dash listing and we're going to open that file up okay so this one has a nested template and this is where it becomes a bit more confusing uh, because what happens is some themes they usually inside the single listing is the loop but in this particular file the loop might be contained within a nested file um, so that's fine is it you need to follow the dots so we've got get template part so what this is saying is look inside the templates folder for a file called content and usually dash single so we're looking templates content dash single so I'm going to jump into that theme again templates content dash single so there it is so if I open this file up we will now see all the code perfect so what I usually do is copy this and we're going to paste it into the file so we're going to replace what's happening here and make sure that PHP is opened correct Just careful with that space right so if I save this we will now get the default post display for the single listing uh, which looks nothing like easy property listings that's perfect so we've actually got something happening already so next we need to go back to our setup and again this is just one one code one one line uh, we're gonna take the action here the EPL property single and we're gonna find out where to put it now this particular thing you can say okay if you just read it so if there's a sidebar okay do something uh, if there's a header okay we're looking for something that says the content or the excerpt here we go so we could get post field the excerpt this one's pretty confusing um, if there's a carousel there it is so we're looking for the have post the post 
So we've got a As I said, most themes, all themes are very different. Let's just try, before you remove anything, let's just put something in. Oops. I didn't copy that. Sorry. Copy. Let's put this in here and see where it ends up. And if it's in the wrong place, that's fine. We just keep moving it until we find the right place and then remove what you don't want. So I'll refresh that. Okay. So we've already got that. That looks correct. With our address, we've got our description. This is the correct display. We've got the map, we've got the author box, and then we've got some content that we don't want. So I'll put that in the right place. Now this particular theme has articles. Sometimes you might want to put this within the actual article. Um, just there might be a container wrapper that does something. Um, and again, it's just trial and error and move things around. Uh, it should probably look exactly the same, but there might be something else happening with responsiveness or something with this theme, but it's fully responsive now. That's fine. So if I now remove everything else. So we need to look for the end of the article and we're going to get rid of everything from there onwards above that and hope it doesn't break something. Article. Let's do a search. No. Okay, so all this stuff. Okay, so it depends on whether you want to keep comments. So you see there's a comments template. We got footer. Um, Let's just get rid of everything. And it really is just a matter of cutting out stuff that you don't want. So there we go. So we've got the article opening. We've got our action. We've got our comments. So if you don't want comments, you can just comment the comment box out. Uh, that's a frequently asked question. It just de does depend on your theme. I'll refresh that. Bingo. So we've got... Uh, there it is. So if you want to get rid of the, there is our view. We've got uh, the site header, navigation, we've got the address and so on. And if you use our listing templates or build your own, you can adjust the display of how the default listing looks. Um, so we got the map, we got features, so on and so forth. And looks correct. So we've got our author box and that's how you configure a template. So if we want to remove comments, but we let's keep it there because someone says put it back later on. It's going to comment that in PHP with a couple slashes, refresh, and we will remove the comment box. And that's how you configure a theme with easy property listings. Now I always recommend using a child theme, um, which instead of using the parent theme, because what happens is as soon as you make any changes to your files in, inside your parent theme, and then you press the update button on the theme because the new updates come along, you will lose everything. So it's always good to start with a child theme. And what I recommend you do is look for your theme in whatever particular one you've purchased or are using. Virtue and do a Google search. And you'll find some instructions on how to create a child theme. Um, this particular, so they got child theme downloads. It's always good to set up a theme with a child theme. So then you, when you make changes to files inside your theme and you press update, you will not lose your changes and it allows you to keep your site more secure. But thanks for watching. This is just a quick video on how to configure the Virtue Premium theme. All themes are the same. You just need to find the right place. Uh, so visit our documentation under Tutorials and Theme Setup, and you can easily configure easy property listings in a few minutes. If you have any trouble, please consider uh, opening a support ticket and also look at our priority support options. We do like to help you, but our, our um, when people purchase priority support, it really helps fund the project um, and look forward to helping you out and assisting you with your theme options or issues. Thanks for watching.